if they look at the US dollar index chart, here is the daily uh, chart of this instrument. We can see that uh, there were a lot of days of gains of the US dollar after this candle with a very long shadow to the downside. This is the candle which was formed after the US election day. The greenback was rising straight higher and higher. Uh, there was even the opening gap um, at the beginning of last week. And now we are seeing a kind of correction on Monday. All in all, the possibility of the Federal Reserve's rate hike in uh, December is now exceeding 95%. And uh, the reason why the US dollar has made such a great rally to the upside is that traders were pricing in higher possibility of December rate hike by the Federal Reserve. They were pricing and pricing in this outcome. And now we see that um, December rate hike is almost fully priced in um, the current rate of the US currency. The conclusion from this um, is that probably during this week we won't see any um, big moves in the US dollar as probably the incoming economic data. We won't have some big events in America which can change this situation. Um, the reaction of the market should be rather moderate. The US dollar will probably lack the fuel for further rally, it won't be able to significantly renew these maximums, but um, some correction is quite possible, but we don't think that uh, this correction will be deep. Support is located at 100.50 uh, mark ahead of 100 level. These are um, the next important support levels for the US dollar index, which tracks the dynamics of the US currency versus the currencies of America's main trading partners. And um, these, I think these levels will limit the decline of the American currency. Last week, the Federal Reserve's chairwoman, Janet Yellen, has confirmed that the Federal Reserve is leaning towards a rate hike in December. All in all, data from America remain strong. Uh, we have rather strong employment market. Inflation figures for October were also uh, good, surprisingly good in the US and all in all American data is fine. Um, well, it really um, is in line with this scenario that the Federal Reserve will have to raise rates in December. I think that the US currency has made already the biggest part of its rally and that uh, this week we will have a kind of uh, pause in rally, but uh, as we can see, uh, the expectations of the Federal Reserve's rate hike is not the only reason which keeps American currency in demand. And the second reason is that traders think that Donald Trump will introduce massive fiscal stimulus in the United States and this will increase inflation in America driving treasury yields to the upside and consequently uh, driving the green back to the upside. Uh, these expectations of Trump's policy will remain and um, these expectations strengthen monetary policy divergence between the United States and other developed nations. Uh, we can see that only the Federal Reserve is close to raising interest rates. And at this time, um, the cycle of higher rates may be more intense. Traders can um, price in further rate hikes in 2017. And as a result, um, the US dollar may have 
uh, potential for further gains after some correction to the downside. Uh, also, uh, if we are speaking about more uh, near-term horizon, we speak we will have um, Thanksgiving Day in the United States on Thursday, and this holiday also um, may um, help to limit the short-term gains of the American currency, as all those traders who have been buying the greenback after the U.S. elections may take profit at the current levels, which around 10150 and uh, just um, relax for a while to have their long weekend and to stay out of the market. So uh, liquidity will be lower and the US dollar may drift down to 100.50 and 100 uh, support level. This is a psychologically important mark for the US dollar index. Uh, 